Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, the module-wise design diagrams for the project TLB map file. So we are going to consider our project as uh, you know six modules uh, project, uh, namely account operations as the module one, followed by stocks and weather subscription, retrieving the stocks and weather data, merging the stocks and weather data, and then HDFS statistics and at last configuring the trigger time. So uh, we are going to uh, start with one by one. So coming to the account operations. So the design diagram will be uh, looking something like this. So where towards the left hand side you can note uh, index.jsp is the entry point for our uh, project. So whenever we run our project we will be uh, landing into index.jsp. So from where we can either navigate to uh, register.jsp by clicking on a register button or we can navigate to login.jsp by clicking on a login button. So uh, in the design diagram, I, I would have mentioned it like this. So register.jsp and login.jsp. So uh, both register.jsp and login.jsp will be containing a form, an HTML form where uh, we will be asking for some input. Say, let me fill this input. Uh, I would say pqrs at gmail.com, 1234 and some dummy values okay so even register.jsp have a submit button so and then you can if you can go to login even login.jsp also have a submit button so you can see from this uh, design diagram uh, both register.jsp and login.jsp are eating the same servlet called user servlet so user servlet.java will be uh, out to uh, process both the request uh, one from register.jsp one from login.jsp so how this user servlet.java will be uh, differentiating between those two requests so how it will come to know uh, whether the request has come from register.jsp or the login.jsp so we are going to do that by setting an eden variable within register.jsp and login.jsp so the name of the eden variable will be request underscore type and the value of the hidden variable will be register inside register.jsp and the value of that hidden variable will be login inside login.jsp so the user servlet.java uh, will be first reading the value of the hidden variable re request type and then it is going to check whether that value is, has been set to uh, register or login like that so if it is register then it will appropriate uh, appropriately execute the register function within user DAOMPL. If the request type is login, then it will be executing get user details uh, and then returns whether the user is, you know, valid user or not. Okay. So let us go to login.jsp and let me enter the email ID I created right now. But I am going to enter an invalid password. So after entering an invalid password, you can see uh, it says invalid credentials. So that means I'm, it has been thrown me back to login.jsp. So if I enter a valid credential, so then you can see uh, it will take me to a welcome.jsp. So that is what uh, we have in the design uh, diagram over there. So if the uh, credentials are valid, so it will be uh, taking us to welcome.jsp. So over there. Okay, so from welcome.jsp, so from welcome.jsp over there, you can see uh, from the uh, code, I mean, uh, within the project, we can either click on edit profile, which will take us to update profile.jsp, or we can click on change password, so which will take us to change password.jsp. So if we click on logout, it will not take us to any JSP file, instead, it will directly take us to a servlet and it will kill the session and throw us back to login.jsp the same thing with respect to delete account also if we click on that it will not take us to any jsp instead it directly hit the servlet and you know deletes my account and takes us uh, throws us back to login.jsp so that is how uh, we are mentioned in the design diagram from the welcome.jsp if we click on edit profile it will go to update profile.jsp where the form will be displayed to edit the in profile information but the request type will be set to appro update profile Likewise, from welcome.jsp, if I click on change password, once again, it will take us to change password.jsp, where the form will be displayed to enter a new password. 
and then the request type will be set to change password so in both the JSP page when we click on a submit button it will lead to the same servlet user servlet dot java which will once again read the value of that hidden variable if the request is update profile or change password it will execute the appropriate method within the DAO layer so uh, that's how you know uh, this architecture has been uh, implemented so uh, whatever you are seeing towards the left hand side the first layer is called the client layer and then the second the middle one is called as the web layer and this one will be calling it as a business logic layer and at last this will be a database layer okay so you can see the client layer which is towards the extreme left so all those things we call it as a front end code so all the JSP page like index register login welcome update profile change password etc etc all those things you people can see under web content so index.jsp login.jsp change password forgot password you know welcome.jsp so like that so and uh, and you know all the front end code 